Her? That's all right. That's Kel Sense. So, I was tagged by Matt the Georgia Gent to do a video. And in the video, he was like, uh, I mean, in the tag, he was like, go out and take two of your favorite fragrances and do a head-to-head -head comparison. Can't do that around here. People ain't really feeling that. No. So, then he did another tag, and he was like, you can do it with somebody that you know that's not necessarily in the fragrances. So, here we go. Now, she's in the fragrances, but not at the level I am. I have five, six hundred. She has 50 or 60. So, her 50 or 60, though, I mean, 10 of them are straight bangers, but we won't get into that. So, what I decided to do is I've got three levels of fragrance here. Three levels. I've got niche, I've got high-end designer, and I've got just cheapo depot. So, um, we're going to let her smell them and see which one she likes best. Now, or see if she can detect a certain difference in the fragrances, whether it's smoothness, uh, alcohol, or just whatever. See if she can pick up on a difference. All right. The first one is a niche fragrance, and it is from the house of Aqua de Palma, and it is Fico de Amalfi. It smells very good. Okay. It was very citrusy. Okay. I like it. She likes it. The next one is John Barbados Artisan Pure. Very similar. Very similar. Now that Aqua de Palma, I don't think it's overly expensive. I think you can get it if you shop right for around a hundred bucks for like a big, a big bottle. But Aqua de Palma is still niche. And the John Barbados Artist and Pure, everybody knows John Barbados. Um, I like this fragrance a lot. It's not the best performer in the world. It is better than most John Barbados fragrances. As I get about five hours out of it. Uh oh, I don't need it. I get about five hours out of it, and you know about two hours of projection. That's me. All right. What do you think about that one? Not as citrusy, but it smells very similar. Not as smells citrusy. Good. Okay. Ideal Cologne by Guerlain. What do you smell when you smell that one? I smell soap. I'm getting she a smell, soapy vibe. She smells soap. I, however, do not. I do smell soap. But we have, I buy, um, it's not name brand soap, well, it's name brand soap, but it's not like Dial or uh, Irish Springs or something, nothing like that. I guess it's designer soap. I don't know what you would call it. But I have a bar of soap that is very, very citrusy. And it smells like this. Lemony. Lemony, Lemony soap. citrusy soap. It does smell good. It smells but, good. You know, it almost could like it could have came with this. So I think that's why she's saying it smells citrusy, soapy. Now, do you do you see a comparison between uh, this one and the John Barbados or any of the others? Or the Fico de Amalfi? You this pick one up on, seems a little bit maybe cheaper. Cheaper. Well, it's definitely cheaper. It's definitely the cheaper of the three. But it smells good. It smells good. Just Do a little you... bit different vibe to me. Okay. But that's just me. All right. And the last one out of these four is Banana Republic Neroli Woods. And I like this one. I uh, didn't get a chance to wear this much because I bought it in late September. Actually, I bought all of these, I think, in late September. Well, no, I didn't either. I got this one in late August, I think. So I got, I think I got a, one or two wearings out of this one. I think I got one wearing out of this one when I was on vacation. But This smells good. Um, probably the least citrusy of the four to me. The least citrusy mm -hmm. of the four to her. Again, but it I, smells good. I disagree, but you know, it is what it is. I don't get the least citrusy vibe out of this one at all. To me, I get a very, very bright Neroli um, burst out of this one. To There's me, there's added to this, a scent that I can't pick up. It's probably the woods. I think so. It's probably the woods, but I get a it good, good. So, out of these four, which do you like better? I'm going to say the first one. <sighs> Like a true woman, she likes the, the 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 niche one out of out of all of them, and that would be Aqua de Palma Fico de Amalfi. I don't think I have a favorite out of all of them. If I did, it would probably be this one. To me, they're more similar to my nose than what uh, they are to her. That may mean my nose is uh, less sensitive, and hers is more um, sensitive because I get a very similar vibe 
out of all four of them, uh, much more than she does. I think she picks up on more of a, a distinct in each one of them. But she normally does that because there are fragrances that I'll be like, they're dead ringers. And she'll be like, that smells like shampoo. And I'll be like, it doesn't smell like shampoo. It smells like shampoo. Mm. And I'll just be like, they smell alike. No, they don't. So we just, our noses. But that's it's the same way with taste. You know, some people like Pepsi, some people like Coke. So out of those four, which would be John Barbados, Artists and Pure, Garland, IDL, Home Cologne, Banana Republic, Neroli Woods, and Fico Diamafi. The one that she chose best was the Fico Diamafi. And it's, again, it's not overly expensive. I think I saw a 6.7 ounce bottle for, for around 100 bucks. So I think you can get a 1 ounce or 3 points, uh, sorry, 1.7 ounce of that for around 50, 60 bucks. So it's niche, but it's not, it's not high end niche. Okay, now to the next one. We're going to do three more fragrances, and these are more wintertime fragrances, completely different from those, because I felt like, you know, that's what we should do. And we're going to get the niche one out of the way first, and it is from the House of History's Deep Parfume, and it's $18.99. It smells really good. It does smell really good. Mm. And for those who are not familiar, it is similar to Spice Bomb. That's what our spice bomb similar to it, whichever way you go with it. Smells good. That smells good. Smooth. Smooth. Smells good. Yeah, that is nice, smooth. Am I on okay? camera? Let me give it over to y'all see. Okay. Now we're going to go to the low end designer and the cheapest one out of the bunch because that, I think, runs about $150 for a 3.4 ounce bottle. This runs about $12 for a 3.4 ounce bottle. This is Beverly Hills Polo Cup Blaze. I know I talk about this fragrance a lot. So y'all forgive me and don't hate me, but it's a good fragrance and I think it can stand with the big boys for the price. For the price now, for the price. That's the key, the price that you pay. So what Definitely do you think about similar. that? Definitely similar. Similar? You can tell a difference in the the quality, but definitely similar. Really? That one smells cheaper? Mm -hmm. Okay. It should smell cheaper because it's, it's 12 bucks as opposed to 150 bucks. But that smells good though. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's no slouch. For $12, I mean, if I had to pick one for 12 bucks, Okay, and last but not least, we're going with this big old grenade, the big boy out of the bunch, and that's Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. That smells good. That smells good, okay. A little bit more spicy. It is definitely more spicy. I think, in my opinion, this one is more for a night out, clubbing, you know, doing something like that, outdoor activities. I mean, you can wear them indoors. I'm not saying you can't wear it indoors, but I'm just saying that, you know, it is what it is. Smells good. You like that one? Which one do you like better? That's close between the first. Between the um, 1899 by History's Deep Perfume and Spice Ball? Mm -hmm. So which one do you but like better? I'm going to say Spice Ball. So there you have it. Out of the three, she chose the high-end designer, which this was, they're about the same price. This is a big 6.7 ounce bottle, I think, though, and I think it was around 150 bucks. Um, as opposed to the eighteen ninety nine, I think it comes in around one fifty. I think, um, yeah. But she chose the spice bomb. She liked the spice bomb a little bit better. So there you have it. Okay, guys, that is my time spent with the beautiful wife and a person that is not in the fragrance community, so to speak. Um, and those are her choices. So for her summery, springy, citrusy type pick she chose um what was that aqua de parma i'm getting old y'all what's the name of this stuff yeah she chose aqua de parma's fico de amalfi and i've worn this once or twice you see i put a little dent in my little bottle very citrusy very bright uplifting fragrance i wish i had Mr. Burberry Indigo. I have some samples of it. I would like to have put this in that competition just to see. And she chose Spice Bomb for the wintertime spice here. Now, I didn't put a lot in here because I didn't want to, you know, get leathery fragrances and, you know, violet leaf and all that. I just chose fragrances that I felt were in two different directions and would be easier for the old nose to disdain the difference in them. All right, guys, that's my tag video again. Matt, the Georgia Gent. Thank you for the tag, brother. Appreciate it. It was fun doing it. We took this one about four or five times. Anyway, but we finally got it done. 
Um, again, lovely Kale Scents, her opinion. Um, if you have any familiarities with any of these fragrances, whether it's $18.99, Spice Bomb, Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze, or Aqua de Palmas, Fico de Amalfi, John Varvados, Artisan Pure, uh, Garland, Ideal Home Cologne, or Banana Republic, Neroli Woods, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and we are going to jump out here. Until next time. Oh, we got to get a screenshot. So which one? A thumbprint. Which one of these balls you want to hold for the thumbprint? We got to get a thumb. We got to, we got to, you want to hold that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just want to, you just want to, you just want to hold it. You ready? We got to get the thumbnail. You ready? You ready? Oh, yeah. Until next time, y'all. Peace.